This is the Ford Everest Titanium Premium. It is the top of the line model in the Ford Everest lineup. Is it worth its 2.2 million peso price tag? Let's find out. As far as looks go, I think the Everest is the most imposing looking of all the locally available midsize SUVs. It shares the same front end as the very handsome Ford Ranger, which I think is the best looking pickup available locally. The front is mostly dominated by this large chrome grille, with the Ford logo emblazoned at the center. The headlights are relatively narrow, but not so narrow that it looks like it's squinting, like a lot of other cars nowadays. Just enough that it seems like it's looking at you very intently while saying, you don't talk to me without saying sir. The sides are pretty simple. There aren't a lot of deep creases like on the Montero, but the sides are not as featureless as the Fortuner. What immediately draws the eyes are the bulging feathers. They give the vehicle a pretty muscular look. The car comes with 20 inch wheels. No other PPV in this segment and in this price range comes with 20 inch wheels. They look pretty sharp and they give the vehicle a more sophisticated look. The Everest also has 4 disc brakes on all 4 corners. The Everest doesn't have a bad angle. Everything looks cohesive. It looks aggressive and masculine without trying too hard. It looks rugged yet classy like a bodybuilder in a tailored suit. If you want technology, the Everest has it in spades. It is the most feature-packed of all the locally available SUVs at this price range. Perhaps the show stealer is the parking assist. The vehicle can parallel park itself with the driver only applying the brakes to control the speed. And then it has active noise cancellation, which, as the name suggests, cancels out exterior noise through speakers inside the car. It has plenty of driver aids and active safety features like adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, electronic stability program, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring. Aside from being convenient features to have, 
Features like adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lane keep assist, and blind spot monitoring also make the Everest safer to drive by minimizing the chances of accidents happening in the first place. The dashboard of the Everest looks very similar to the Ranger. Compared to the Fortuner's dashboard, the Everest's dashboard has more straight lines than curves. Leather is almost everywhere. The top of the dashboard is covered in stitched leather. Also the seats, the door sidings, and the armrests. Both front seats are power adjustable. The Everest has dual zone climate control. It has an 8 inch infotainment display which you can operate either by using the touch screen or by using voice commands. Cancel. Canceling. It has a 10 speaker system. A panoramic sunroof is standard for both the 3.2 and the 2.2 titanium with premium package. There is no shortage of outlets. The Everest has four 12 volt outlets, it has USB ports, and an AC plug. The Everest is powered by a 3.2 liter diesel engine, which produces a class leading 200 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque. While power is best in its class, it also has the largest displacement. Combined fuel economy is 8.2 km per liter. The engine is coupled to a 6-speed transmission. Suspension at the front is independent double wishbone, while at the rear, it has a solid rear axle with watch linkage. Approach angle is 29 degrees, while the departure angle is 25 degrees. If I had to pick one PPV right now, and if I would base my decision on looks and features alone, I would choose the Everest. In terms of features, it makes the Fortuner V look like a base model. In comparison, the Fortuner doesn't have adaptive cruise control, it has no collision mitigation, no blind spot monitoring, no active noise cancellation, no panoramic sunroof, and of course no parking assist. The ride quality of the Everest is also better than the Fortuner, and the steering of the Everest is lightest in its class. Like I said, if I had to get one right now, I'd choose this model. But Ford is probably about to release an updated model. Uh, it'll probably come with the Ford Ranger Raptor engine, which is a 2 liter by turbo engine, coupled to a 10 speed automatic. It produces 10 more horsepower than the 3.2. So I would wait for that if I were not in a hurry. Ford is offering large discounts for these models. The 2.2 million peso price tag will come with a hefty discount. Just talk to your local dealership about it. Also worth noting is that most of the features available in this model will also be available on the 2.2 Titanium Premium, which is almost 200,000 pesos cheaper. In terms of features, the Ford Everest Titanium Premium Package is ahead of the pack. The Everest wins in most objective and subjective categories. So this now becomes a question of which brand you want to entrust your hard-earned money to. Ford or Toyota?